recording. So exciting. I made a Google Doc that has the accountant questions on there. So oh, I can either share great. my screen or if you want to look in the Google Doc, it doesn't matter to me. What would be better for you? I'll look in the Google Doc. That's fine. Where'd you put it? Just in the main drive? Yeah, it's just called questions for the accountant. Super Very creative. creative. <laughs> I see it. <coughs> I just <coughs> swallowed my coffee in the wrong hole, so I was breathing and laughing at the same time, and threw up. <laughs> on the replay I can't wait I know because I missed it all I heard was you like dying and now you've disappeared from the screen <laughs> there you're back I'm glad you were super concerned I was like <laughs> well I wasn't sure if it was like a cough or a sneeze and I was like what is that I don't know it's all up and everywhere oh I'll tell you the one did you get your LASIK yet no it's in November it's next month I have to actually finish filling out like all the paperwork and I've got to get my financing squared away and all that stuff. The mask and glasses is super annoying. It was all fogging up in my meeting today. Mm -hmm. And then someone was like, oh, they have a spray, an anti-fog spray. I was like, that's cool. Something well, else for me to buy for my glasses. But if you're in a meeting, do you need to wear your glasses? I was looking at the smart board. So I was looking at computers and I needed to be filtered. <laughs> I did not wear them. I just wore the mask because I was like constantly sticking my thumbs up in there to try to undo them. But you know, that's how that goes. Anywho, on these questions, is there anything that I'm <clears throat> missing that we talked about? Um, I don't think so. I think that's everything. Okay. I figure we might as well ask to see what we can actually write. I'm going to buy a halo light on a tripod. I'll I've, send you, there's one that has the remote too. So you can just hook it up to your phone. So that way you don't have to be there like clicking all the time. You can be from wherever and remote it. I was thinking about getting a ring light for my computer or my camera, I mean, or my phone. Mm -hmm. And then I think I might get a little one that I can just connect to my computer, either my laptop or my monitor here at work. That's what I was so thinking I think about do doing versus like a tripod one, but I haven't really looked that closely into them. So I don't know. I think I want to do the tripod because I want to be able to just set my phone and be able to do stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Instead of trying to have it for me, instead of trying to have it like leaning up against these books or oh, whatever, like I'm thinking true. about when I do the mermaid reading and like this weekend when I do science, it's going to be a pain in the neck because I don't have a tripod. I might look at Staples before I go home actually to see if I can get one there before I order on Amazon but I really want the <clears throat> remote for it. Good idea. Otherwise you'd have to like push the button and then edit, like wait a little bit and then like clip the front off, which I suppose mm -hmm. isn't right. the end of the world, but. It's not the end of the world, but again, virtual assistant, where the hell are you? Like this is, can, can we just make five figures so we can hire a virtual assistant please? Like, can we just do that? So, all right, so I put these things on here to see what we could write off. I'm gonna ask, the worst you can say is no, but I was thinking like all those things are, um, you know, we use them for everything. Okay, so that phone call is Monday at four, so we'll just call in and do that. I'm gonna be in the car, so can you take notes and do all that stuff? Mm. Yes, but I'll be in the I'll be in the car at four thirty unless I can get John to pick up Hazel for the girls, right? Yeah, I mean That's Lily. Okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's gonna take forever. If it does, it's fine. We can just. We'll but yes, I can take notes for at least for at least thirty to forty minutes. Okay, that sounds that sounds perfect. And the rest will be thanks up here. <laughs> Right, so we're definitely gonna need notes. <laughs> Maybe we should just record the call. Oh, that's a good idea, but I don't know how to do that if I call in. I don't know how to do that either. 
It's a great idea though. <laughs> super, super helpful. Thank you. All right. Did you get your list of people together that you wanted to interview? Okay. I have mine. Definitely. I definitely did. <laughs> I have mine. And um, maybe we want to think about what that format is going to look like and when do we want to actually launch this. Hi, Ian. Hi. What's up, buddy? Nothing really. Do you like my new glasses? Do I look so smart? You can say yes. Where is she? She's in a fancy, swanky new office. <laughs> Isn't it so fancy? <laughs> no, it's a picture. It's not really there. That's actually my office. This is what I'm doing with all of our money. I'm outfitting an outfit, an office. This is our two paper scissors office that your mom can't come to. <laughs> I do that. You can just set a backdrop. I did it earlier. Oh, I here I'll do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, we're excited for your birthday party. I need an idea though for your present. What do you want? Oh. Now we're, this is our background, this spooky. What do you want for your birthday? Legos. And a go-kart. <laughs> Legos and a go-kart. Got it. <laughs> I have a feeling Legos is probably going to be what it is. But what about a Lego set that makes a go-kart? How about that? Oh, that'd be cool. That actually moves? Yeah, mm -hmm. that actually moves. What if I give you a printable of like how a to make it? <laughs> I know. It's just floating around here. <laughs> what happened? I turned off the background. No. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Turn it on. Why? All right. Auntie and I have What are you going to be for Halloween this year? What are you going to be for Halloween? Mm -hmm. You can't decide. Mm. What are your choices? What are you struggling between? Anything. Mm. I feel like this is about the age when Corgan just found like a crazy mask and a weapon and put on clothes and a mask and a weapon and that was his Halloween costume. You could almost be Cousin It. <laughs> almost. Or Beetle. Adam Family. Uh, nope. No, Justin Bieber. No. Bieber from oh, the yeah. 19... The old school Bieber. 90. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever year that was. 2007 or whatever year he was big. <laughs> Yeah. He still has a lot of money. Still a multi bazillionaire. Yes, he is. Um, all right, so that's then so I'll leave this for the questions as is. And then let me get into our drive again. So did you have any thoughts? Who me? Yeah. <laughs> no, the other sister. Third sister, did you have any thoughts? <laughs> I wasn't sure if Ian was still here. I was looking at my lips. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like it should be, I don't know, like a conversation, but I feel like we need like <laughs> props or so. I don't know, something like, are we drinking coffee? Are we, you know, like, is this kid friendly? Is this really for adults? Like, I feel like there's so many of these unknown things happening. Well, okay. So the people that you picked for your list, uh -huh. they're all like entrepreneurial type people, right? Yes. And what type of businesses are they in? Like all different types? Like, are they for kids, for adults, both a mix? Actually, almost all of these people are for adults. I don't think I have one kid thing on here. <laughs> but this, that's fine. So I'm just saying, like, maybe it isn't for kids then. If, like, our target audience would probably be the, the women, the parents, or whoever that they're serving, not necessarily right. kids, right? Right. Like, the three people that I just now jotted down because I didn't do my <laughs> list um, are, I mean, I their stuff is for adults. It's not that it's not kid-friendly. It's just not kid interesting right. right right I think that's kind of where I'm like I've got like makeup people and then like some stylists and some like lady who's making jewelry and somebody who's like a weight loss coach like I have all these different types of 
mm -hmm. things that they do. And so, but what's the thread that ties them all together? We know them. Right. <laughs> Us. Cool. <laughs> Us. We're the thread. But that's kind of my question. Like, what are we, what is the purpose of this IGTV beyond getting a YouTube channel to drive SEO to our brand? Like, what? <laughs> I mean, right? I think like, why are we doing the point is, I mean, obviously it's cross promotion, right? But like, what service are we giving? I guess we're, we are introducing our audience to more small business brands. Are all your people women? Yes. Yeah. All of mine are women too. Okay. So maybe we just do women owned small business, small business. Okay. I like it. I need to write this down. Oh, you know what? Google Doc. I need a name for this joint too. IGTV. Okay. So we are, guests are women owned small businesses, right? Yep. And our purpose is to would you say introduce our audience? Yeah, introduce. I mean, I don't know about audience, but introduce. We have an audience. Even one person is an audience. Introduce our audience to, <laughs> to, to other women owned small businesses, right? Yeah, I like it. Yes. I feel good about that. All right. So then are we going to give people like the questions before we ask them? Like, so they kind of know what we want to talk about. Or are we just going to go in there and talk? No matter to me. I'm just curious. Maybe we do both. Like I'm thinking we give the people, like we introduce ourselves like, hi, we're Beth and Susan. We run two paper sisters. We give like our little elevator spiel for our shop, right? And then, right. which we could probably pre record once we perfect that, and then it's done. We could. So we, okay, anyway, go ahead. Anyway, we do our little spiel about our shop, and then we do a little spiel about the purpose of the video, right? Like we want to expose people to new women owned businesses, blah, blah, blah. And our guest today is. Da, 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 from business, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then okay. we say, you know, what, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you got started, like why you started your business and what your business is. So we give them like, I don't know, two to five minutes to give their intro. Um, and then, then maybe that's when, then we ask maybe a series of a couple of questions and then we leave it open at the end for like, if they have anything new that they're working on that they want people to know about or whatever they can maybe close in that. We do like hot seat questions. Like let's do like, put them on the hot seat. Like what are some like kind of crazy questions that we could ask that are like silly, but also kind of like would um, reveal some like vulnerabilities and like, you know, realness Most about embarrassing this person, so it's business not, moment. <laughs> yeah, like, like all those types of things, right? Like, hmm, yeah. okay, to think about this. Hot seat questions. What do we think, like 10 of these? Um, five or 10. How long do we want this to last? Like 20 minutes? I mean, I guess it can be however long and then we can always edit it out, edit it down if we wanted to, right? Well, that's true. But I think 15 to 20, I mean, originally I thought it was going to be like five, five to seven minutes, but this right here is going to be five minutes between the two intros. Right. Right. So realistically, it's probably 20 minutes. And it's going to have to be, I'm going to have to think about that because 20 minutes is kind of a long time. So it's got to be engaging in these different ways. The conversation is going to have to be really good to keep people's interest for 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, we can cut some, we can make it shorter, cut some stuff out. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, 
Oh, hot seat questions. So maybe we start with like, you know, we're sisters, obviously, you know, we're sisters and I'm the oldest and she's the youngest. And, you know, we have some like crazy stories uh, of growing up with four siblings, like three siblings, three other siblings, four of us. You know, are you, a, do you have any siblings? And, you know, what's a crazy story from when you were a kid? Like that could be something that just is kind of easy and light that kind of opens it up, right? So uh, if you don't have siblings, you could still have that crazy story from your childhood, right? Yeah, friend or cousin or something, right? Right, right, right. Yes. Um, no, it's harder than I was thinking it was going to be. Then it's maybe we only need to like script out like five questions, and then the conversation should kind of go from there, don't you think? Yeah. I'm trying to think like if I'm if I'm scrolling my IGTV right and what would make me stop and watch a video people laughing I would stop if people were laughing so we start every video with a <laughs> laugh track <laughs> maybe I don't know maybe when there's dead silence we just play laugh track I don't know yeah, but I'm that just trying to think like the videos that I tend to watch, like why do I watch them? Mm. What's interesting in them? Like what would I hope to get out of this? I mean, yes, to kind of, it would be nice if they could kind of show us, I wonder if they could show us a few of their products. Mm. You know, like, so like my friend who makes her own jewelry, like maybe she would just show us some of the jewelry that she's made and like maybe a, I don't know. I was going to say behind the scenes, but I don't know that that would really be feasible, but maybe she could just show us some of her stuff or her favorite thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that idea. Like she shows her. Like maybe they know, Maybe this is like home shopping network for IGTV. Maybe this is like HSN for IGTV. I don't know, I like this idea of a lightning round though, of like five questions that were just like, boom, 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 right? Like, well, I mean, Renee Brown does a really interesting way of doing that. Yeah, I mean, it could be simple things like favorite food, favorite color. Let's do something else, what should we say? Something kind of random, but also good. Well, what's your favorite food? Pizza. And that, mine's what's macaroni. What's your favorite food? So maybe we say pizza or macaroni. No, perfect, we should just pick between us. Yeah. You're so smart. Okay. Pizza or would you say macaroni and cheese? Uh -huh. Really? That's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Okay. I love summer. Oh, you, you like love? pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Macaroni and cheese is such a kid food, but that's fine. I like summer. What do pizza you like? Pizza's so adult. <laughs> I mean, kind of. What? Not like you said sushi. <laughs> it's actually called a flatbread. As an adult, it's called a flatbread. <laughs> summer or what's your season? Uh, fall. I don't, it's like I don't even know you. <laughs> fall is Halloween and Thanksgiving. Oh, good call. What's your holiday? What's your favorite holiday of all times? Uh, I'm torn between um, Christmas and Halloween. I love Halloween. Now my kids are older, so I don't love it as much. Well, well, let's just do this. Halloween or Christmas, you said? Yeah, what's your favorite one? It used to be Halloween. Like, I still love Halloween, but they're older. Mm -hmm. So Halloween's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One more. These are macaroni and cheese. Summer, fall, coffee or tea. Halloween or Christmas. Um... Mm, baby or teenager? Like if you had to choose who to be stuck with, would you be stuck with a baby or a teenager? <laughs> uh, anything else? What else should we do? Um, well, maybe we should do like minivan or SUV. 
mm, or something like that. Yeah, gotcha. Minivan or SUV? Uh, what about camping? Tent or cabin? Yes. Or RV? Tent or RV? Actually, that's, I'm going to say tent or hotel. Yeah. Well, what about maybe your vacation place? Like, what's your vacation place? Beach. Mine too. But so you could say, say beach or mountains. Beach or mountains, yeah. Or lake. Can we put lake instead? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> beach. <laughs> All right. So we got pizza, summer, fall, coffee or tea, Halloween or Christmas, baby or teenager, minivan or SUV, beach or mountains. Oh, I had one. What was it? Um, oh, um, Apple or, or, um, Android or whatever for our phone. Oh, I was like, Apple, what are you talking about? Then I was thinking about like pen or pencil, but we could also do digital, like handwritten or digital, right? Yeah. The other thing you could do is um, like full face or mascara only. Like what's your, like when you're doing your makeup. Oh. I didn't really know there was an option. Maybe <laughs> not when you're old. I mean, sometimes I'll just put on mascara and I won't do anything else, but I won't like put on eyeshadow. Like that's weird. Okay. I mean, it's weird. Well, maybe you, just... you do, maybe it's five minute face or full look. Oh, see my five minute face is my full face like that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Skip. I like mascara only or full face. I like that. That's great because we'll be able to have these same conversations with other people. Like at least these are interesting questions. You know what I mean? We can like, um, how many is this? One, two, three, four, oh, five, how about, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Voicemail ahead, or hang up. Like, do you leave a message? Oh, good one. Let's get rid. I'll put it on here. We can always. I always hang up. Voicemail or hang up. And text or just and that's the end. Sometimes I don't call or text. I just I would just say up. or hang up. Late. The texting is optional. Okay. Because I mean, you could also do text uh, oh, yeah. or phone call. I mean, right. Talk on phone or text. Yeah. I love a visual voicemail. Do you listen to your voicemail? I just read it on the visual. No, I listen yeah. to it. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. I just skim through it on the visual. That's funny. Visual voicemail or read or hear it. Well, the thing we listen. could do, we could pick, we could just have like this huge bank of questions and just choose like 10 each time. That's they true. They always have to be the same. That's true. That's true. We could kind of test down and see which ones are the best. Like what their reactions are, like how we get the best conversation for. This part's way more fun now. What, um, what else would be good? Um, Pedicure or manicure? Should choose? Oh, yes. It's a good one, right? Or massage or facial. Mm. Um, do you have a favorite burner on your stove? Yes. Me too. Is it the front right one? Yes. So I'm going to put that on here and just see if they say if it's the same one. Like, where's your favorite burner on your stove? Um, oh, that could be one too, like cook or order out. I mean, like I would always choose order out, but realistically from my budgeting and fat standpoint. Right. Cook or order food. Oh, DoorDash or pick up. Oh, yeah. Delivery or pickup, yeah. Curbside grocery or go in. Yeah. God, I love curbside grocery. Me too. Um, 
Um, I like these bottom ones. They're a lot more exciting than the top ones. We just had to get on a roll. You could do name brand ketchup or generic. Like, are you particular about your ketchup? Yeah, Heinz. Oh, yeah. I like, is it Heinz that I like? I like yeah, Heinz. I like. Good call. Name brand ketchup or generic. You know what? I'm actually so really funny no about straw. my. Say it again. Straw or no straw? Like when you're mm, drinking at a restaurant, like do you use a straw? I'm a no straw. Are you a straw? I used to be a straw. Now I'm a no straw. Is that because you think you're saving the sea turtles by not having a straw? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what I where I am and what I'm drinking. Beer, straw. <laughs> you think we ought to run a Facebook ad for the Steam Bundle? Maybe. What do you think? I, yeah, I kind of would like it to be a video, though, not like a static post mm -hmm. of something. But yeah, I like that the Facebook ad, I didn't look at it again today. Have you looked at it again today? I have not. It says uh, we're up to 218 reach, eight link clicks. Are you doing that through our page? No oh, ads. Nope. Nope. Do you need a share? Nope, I got it. Oh, this account spent $1.83 on one ad. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 218 people reached, 63 engagements, eight link clicks. Which it's possible maybe one of those sales came from the link click because the link is direct, it's just our Etsy site. It's not the actual bundle. Oh, that's nice. Because I wanted it to be the bundle, but I couldn't figure out how to change it to go directly to the bundle so it just goes to our etsy main page what do you mean you couldn't figure out how to change it you can't the share doesn't the share button on the etsy listing wouldn't work it does but in the facebook ad there's no option to choose a different website uh, it, goes, it is based on whatever your shop now button is linked to so i think I'd have to change our shop now button to go directly to the Halloween bundle gotcha. on our main page. In order for the link. Gotcha. Yeah. So we'd have to change that then for the Steam bundle. The link is going to have to change. Yes. Which I think is fine. I mean, then anybody who clicks shop now on our Facebook page will go straight to the Steam bundle, which is still links to our Etsy page. So I mean, it's, I think that's fine. Yeah, I do too. It's fine. And it's only going to be for like 10 days anyway. Week, like, you know, big we're not dragging, we're not driving that much Facebook traffic to our Etsy shop, you know? No, but I'm wondering if any of like the favorites and the sale that we got overnight came from maybe the ad, like somebody went to our mm -hmm. Etsy shop from the ad. And saw all of that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay, well, that's good. All right, so then this is all still. How much does it cost to do like a promoted pin on Pinterest? Have you ever looked into that? Mm -mm. I don't know. I wonder if we should look in that too. Like if it's not very expensive, maybe we do that for the Halloween or Steam also. Mm hmm. That's a good idea to promote a pin. I mean, I think you can also do an ad on Instagram. I don't know how much those are either. Yeah, you can. And I'm actually wondering if your ad on Instagram feeds into your ad on Facebook. Or is it two separate? I think they're things? separate. Because like, you know how they're linked in other ways? I mean, I, you might be able to run it, run the same ad on both platforms, but I think they're, it start out separate. I don't know. We'd have to look at it. Hold on, I gotta take this is Madeline. Hold on. Nail appointment, super important. Had to figure that out. Um, 
for Madeline. Anyway, so yeah, that's a good idea. What if we promoted the pin, one of the steam pins, mm -hmm. and then it goes directly to the link. Uh, do we have our link yet, our own affiliate link yet? Did she email that to us? I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I have either. Because when I, well, when I signed up, it had a link, but it was, it didn't look right. So I don't think she's updated it yet. Okay. I can try, you mean to message her separately and be like, hi. Yeah. Maybe we just reach out and just see like, I'm, she may not have it until closer to, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but that's next week, right? Yeah, but I'll nobody can message her. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna say nobody can start buying anything yet. Right. I'll just say we just want to make sure we haven't missed. Thank you, you too. I'll see you later. Make sure we haven't uh, missed the affiliate. Affiliate. I can't believe they've done three bundles together already. Yeah. Hi, we just want to make sure we haven't missed the affiliate link. Thanks. Smiley face. Okay. Um, yeah, because we could promote a pin, but we need the link to go in there before we can do any of that stuff. Same with the ad, right? How long did it take for the ad to get approved? A couple days? No, it was less than a day. Oh, was it? Okay. Once I think, I don't know what was going on with the other ad. It's still sitting like it can't. It well, it deleted itself now finally, but it was sitting there like can't run this ad. So I just created hmm. a new one and it worked fine. I don't know what was going on. Hmm. That's weird. So maybe what we do is we run this, we run, um, you know, we have this Halloween one, then we run the steam ad. And then maybe in November we run like an introduction post engagement post ad. That's just basically like, let's try to like create more awareness of us out there in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. It looks like Pinterest so maybe, is kind of the same way, the way that their ads work. You set your daily budget, pick your target audience. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add that in our notes for the accountant. I mean, let's see. You just set your budget again to do it same way. Yeah, it looks like you just set your budget. So I say we, so I think it maybe it would make sense to promote the Steam bundle on Pinterest. Maybe we just do it on there. They'll so take them directly to the bundle. Maybe we make a carousel pin of like one of the cover sheets and then some of our stuff that's mm -hmm. in there too. And then we can use the language that's in that message about like it's a, whatever, price value for what is it 25 bucks or whatever it is that it really costs I yeah i don't know is. what it's going to be i'm not sure yeah i don't know either so we'll have to get all those specifics but anyway maybe that's what we do we run a pin boost and then we can kind of compare and see what we like better does canva can you post to canva from pin post to pinterest from canva i think so I almost wonder if we should just pay for the Canva upgrade. I was actually thinking about that the other day because there were a lot of pictures that I really liked when I was looking at the story cards that I couldn't choose because they were premium. Right, and it's 10 bucks a year if we do it all at once. So it's 120 bucks and we have, let me look and I mean, 30 days is free, right? But how much are we thinking about charging for the story cards? $9.95 for a starter pack? I guess it depends on how many cards we're going to have and what else is going to go with it. But I would think anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks. Yeah. Okay. So we have $1.91 right now in the account. So maybe we actually, maybe we split the cost ourselves to pay for the Canva 
upgrade and not pull the money out of there. I don't, is that going to really matter? Like, I don't know how all that works when we go to do um, taxes. Um, it shouldn't, because so when I did this with, um, with Tiffany, when we had a partnership, one of the things on the tax form was how much capital each uh, partner invested. So as long as we can keep track of like how much we've spent, I think it'll be fine. Like you could either, the only thing that we, go ahead, I'm sorry. I was gonna say we could either just like each dump like 200 bucks into the joint account, right? And like, that's what we're spending. We're not spending anymore. Once that kind of runs out, it's done. Or we could just do it as things come up and we just split it in half, you know, and pay for it. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that we've paid for out of pocket was half of the Upwork, mm -hmm. right? For the formatting, but the Fiverr paid for, we paid for out of Etsy, out of our profits. The Facebook ad we're paying for out of our profits, right? Mm -hmm. Probably the Pinterest ad we'd pay for out of our profits. Mm -hmm. So I mean, all of our like printing, we paid for out of our pockets. Mm, that's true. Printing costs. But so that's mean, gonna. So these things that would be like a. Good fiber. What else did I just say? Fiber we paid for out of our pocket. Printing costs. I don't know. I mean, the canvas only 120, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind just chipping in 60 bucks for e from each Me of either. us to just get it covered. Yeah. yeah. And be done with it. And then we have it for a year. Yeah. And then if we decide to renew it, you know, then maybe the renewal comes out of our profits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because well, it's then been open for two years. Right. Yeah, I like that too. Okay. Yeah, I think if we use, if we just purchase, because we can post to Facebook and to Pinterest, I think, from Canva, and then that would hold all of our Pinterest pins here. Mm 